Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. You guys come on to the diving board. Come right on in, come in, come in to the diving board. I have something exciting that I would like to share with you on tonight. I am Jackie Denise and it is my extreme pleasure to be reporting to the diving board tonight. The message that I want to share. Good evening, good evening. Come on in. Hey there, sweet tea. Invite somebody else. Tag and invite other people to come in and uh, get ready to get an amazing word tonight. It's going to be a tremendous word of faith and power and encouragement, hope, strength, comfort. I have a vision that I would like to share with you all. And then I'm going to share with you what God is saying about the vision that I saw as it pertains to the people of God. And so my message for you all tonight is the angels are coming. Ha ha ha. I got to stop. Uh, when I first um, saw what I saw, I think day before yesterday as I was traveling the highway, the angels are coming. There is so much that is going on in the lives of people. Great people, amazing people, having so many different situations, so many different circumstances, even in nature all around us. Look what is going on. Tropical storm after tropical storm, you know, just the, the fires, the floods and everything across the across the regions here so much going on in the way of calamity that is causing people to be distressed causing people to be misplaced a huge loss of life property damage just everything emotional duress but guess what god told me two days ago he told me something after he showed me something okay I'm riding in my car. Hi there, Elder Nigel. Still praying for your family, man of God. I'm riding in my car, minding my own business, thinking about all of the things that are on my to-do list. <laughs> on my to-do list, waiting on my, on my desk for me. And right before my very eyes, I kid you not, I lift up my right hand to the Father, a split-second vision flashed in front of my face and it took me by complete surprise woman of god hey there jock hey there pastor centora when i saw this vision it made my whole breath catch in my throat i literally saw for a split second in front of me a whole team of angels they weren't flying with flapping with their wings as we imagine, as we see on TV and all this kind of stuff. You know what? In, in pictograms and such. I saw a whole team of angels. They were furiously, swiftly riding on the backs of horses. And every single angel that I saw in the rodeo, that's what God said to me when the vision went away. That was an angelic rodeo. My God in heaven, is anybody diving with me already? Evangelist Jackie, when I saw this rodeo of angels on the road two days ago, and each one of them were riding on a horse, ah, shiaba, they were riding on the backs of horses, and every last angel that I saw in my vision had a lasso in its hand. Ah, woo, I'm getting excited all over again. The angels literally had a whole live lasso in their right hand, the hand of authority, Yolandra. And those angels were on an assignment. Every last angel was assigned to a different, a specific, a rhema individual. Do you hear what I'm saying tonight? God showed me this. As plain as I'm looking at you, looking at me two days ago. An angelic rodeo. And when the vision left me, I was speechless for a few moments, Tracy J. And I said exactly what you just said, Pastor Centora. My God. 
I gripped the steering wheel a little tighter and I had to shake myself because I was in major traffic going through Raleigh and I was like, my God in heaven. But God said to me afterwards, as I contemplated what I saw in the vision, he said, did you notice that they were not flying with two wings, but they were riding in on the backs of the horses. They were riding in just like this with lassos in the air. Oh my God. Talk about faith in action. God reminded me of the scripture that says, if you are weary contending with men who only have two legs, how in the world can you contend with the horses who have four? Ha! Is anybody diving with me? The angels weren't wasting time with two wings or two legs. The angels were riding in on the backs of horses. I'm talking about racer backs. I'm talking about thoroughbred horses. I'm talking about prize horses that earn big bucks in the shows. Show horses, yes. The angels were riding in on those horses that have four legs. Why? Because four legs are they represent swiftness. Four legs represent um, picking up the pace. My God. Oh, speak it, Holy Ghost. Please speak it because I can't speak it, but you can speak it. The angels were on these horses. And I'm telling you, they were moving at the speed of lightning. Do you understand what I'm saying? But God was very clear in his explanation to me as I continued driving and I was contemplating the vision that he allowed me to see. And God said, let my people know that I see all of the calamity around them. I see that even while they're doing good with the best of their ability, tell them that I see the enemy coming in at every opportunity, in fact, creating opportunities to slip, to sneak in while you are sleeping, while you are resting, and so tears in with your wheat. God says, but let my people know that I will not suffer their foot to be moved. Though the winds, the storms may rage and the winds may blow. Though the health report might not be as you would have it to be. Though the bank statement might not look the way you want it to look right now. Though the relationship status might have sank like the Titanic. God says, let my people know that the angels are coming. My God, I want somebody to put in the chat for me. Help is on the way. Mm. Listen, in scripture, all throughout scripture, when angels are on the scene, Melissa, angels have some very specific purposes. They come, number one, to do what their name describes them as. They are messengers. The, name, the word angel, the name angel, it literally means messenger. These messengers have specific duties and assignments from God, Abba, Father, Daddy, God. They come to bring comfort. They come to bring help. They come to give wisdom and instruction. They come, my goodness, to usher in healing and deliverance. Angels come to lift heavy burdens. Angels come to intersect. Yeah, shoot down missiles out of the air that 30, 30 more seconds, my God, they would bust your life wide open like a brick through a windshield. Angels have very specific, oh my God, assignments. Another one of their assignments is divine protection. Angels, oh my God, they protect us from things that we would never ever even know about until we get to heaven and God show us the tape. Hey! My God, until God plays the tape back and you see all that the angels prevented from touching you. Prevented from interfering with your life. Prevented from prematurely taking your whole life out. My God, angels on assignment. How many of you 
I'm about to tell my age. How many of you have ever, well, you remember that old TV show back in the day that was literally called Touched by an Angel? I think Roma, Romana Downey or something like that was a star. And uh, Della Reese, listen, those angels would show up at the last moment, at 11.59, those angels would show up and every time there was an angel of life, of hope, of restoration, of peace, of joy, of comfort, of a good message on the scene, there, yeah, thank you so much, Yolandra. Thank you, Melissa. That was a, an awesome and an amazing and inspiring show. I love that show. Every time the angel of life was on the scene, what was lurking over there in the corner? What was lurking right on the other side of the door? Emmanuel, every time the angel with the good message was in place and on the scene, the angel of doom and darkness and destruction and death, imminent death, was also present in the same place. And every single time, if I'm not mistaken, the person had an opportunity to choose. Hey, the Bible says, choose ye life or death. Who you going to serve? You can't serve both man and God. Listen, the angels are on the way. The angels are coming to see about you, to see about your stuff. To see about your family. The angels are coming to see about your mind. To relieve pressure off of your mind. Somebody on this diving board tonight is literally on a clock. I don't know what your situation is. But the clock is winding down. The time is winding down. The clock is ticking, baby. I don't know. You watching the calendar like a hawk. And you're checking off boxes. You're looking at the dates. You're doing a reverse countdown. I got two more days. I got ten more days. I got five more days. Oh, my God. I've only got five le weeks left. Listen. God told me to tell you on this diving board tonight that there is a whole lot angelic rodeo riding in on racer back horses, thoroughbred horses who are coming to your rescue. The angels are coming in. The angels are riding on the backs of horses so they can go faster, double the time, double the speed. Listen, somebody, God is sending the angels with lassos. He showed me the vision The every angel has a lasso and they're doing just like this because when they loose, just like a cowboy in a rodeo. Hello, apostle, a cowboy in a rodeo. When the angel looses that rope, my God is going to. Wrap around the very thing that you need. What is it, Gwen? What is it, Gwen? What is it, Melissa? The angels are coming. They're riding in on the backs of horses. Ha! Huh? And they've got an assignment and they will not stop. They will not slow up. They will not quit until they have successfully and securely, uh, what do you call it? Uh, roped in your stuff. I don't know what your stuff is. That ain't my business. What I know is that you need to know that the angels see you. And from the moment, my God, that you begin to pray about those things that you watching the clock concerning, it's only, oh my God, I only got three more days. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's about to be September. We've only got three months left. We got to make a decision. Listen, baby, I want to let somebody know. Are y'all sharing the broadcast for me? I want to let somebody know today that you don't have to keep concerning yourself about the Kronos time. Not when the God of the Kairos time is on the scene and the God of the Kairos time has sent the angelic rodeo, the angelic host out on your behalf. The angelic rodeo is not operating on chronos time calendar time march april may june july august almost september time the angelic rodeo is operating on kairos time that's god's time it confounds the mind of the enemy it confounds the minds of the bankers oh my god of the lenders of of the people who sit in seats of power god is sending the angels in those horses are moving at the speed of lightning. They won't stop until they get to you. 
You don't have to worry about the horse going to the wrong one because the vision that God showed me every, you know, like in a race, the horse has got numbers on them or they got a cloth over them that distinguishes them in the race. Well, every angel that I saw in the angelic rodeo, they had a name assigned to, assigned to them. So there's no mistaking. There won't be any cross-ups. Ha <laughs> ha. There won't be any Amazon deliveries ending up at the wrong front door. Not when we're dealing with the angelic host who sees where you are and knows what you need. Is anybody diving with me tonight? Is anybody on this diving board tonight? Oh my God. I know you've been praying a long time. I know it's been a minute, okay? On colored people time, black and brown people time, a minute mean, doesn't mean 60 seconds. A minute might mean some years. It might mean some months. Oh, my God. It's been seven weeks, okay? But I want to say to you tonight that you can trust with everything in you that help is on the way. You can trust. You can believe. Baby, you can run it all the way to the bank. Just as surely as God showed me and spoke to me, help is on the way. The angels are coming and they're in route now. Somebody put now in the chat for me. In fact, in Daniel, I'm reminded of Daniel chapter number 10. You all remember Daniel saw all of those visions. I, I just find it, it. It renders me speechless. Really. It renders me absolutely speechless when God shows me these prophetic visions, uh, periodically. And, and he speaks to me and gives me explanation about these prophetic visions and everything. And like I said to you earlier, when I saw it for a moment, I was overwhelmed, but I was driving. So I had to be cognizant. Okay. But it, Caught my whole breath up with the, the glory of it. I want you all to know that it was glorious, the vision that I saw. And the outcome is going to likewise, when it hits the earth realm, when the super meets up with the natural, it is also, do you understand me, Evangelist Jackie Bellamy? It's going, sis, to be glorious. I need to say to somebody, you will see glory after this. Let me take a breath because that needs to hit right. It needs to sink in. I don't know what your this is, but I speak to you prophetically right now. And I assure you under the auspices of the Holy Ghost of God that there will be glory after this. Do you hear me, sis? Do you hear me, bro? There will be glory after this. In Daniel chapter number 10, Daniel is having all of these visions put upon him. Oh my God. And they are so glorious. They are so overwhelming. Jesus, one of the visions that came to him, it literally just caused the brother to just pass right out. Okay. Just pass, just faint. Okay. The glory of it, the weight, the kabod of it, the glory of God. He passed right out. And the only way he was able to wake up and get himself back up on his feet was the angel. You hear what I said, right? The angel. Somebody put angel in the chat, please. Or put a little angel emoji or something. Send some angel emojis up for me, you guys. Listen, thank you for sharing, Iris. I so appreciate you. You're so consistent. Listen, Daniel passed out at the sheer vision that he saw of the angel do you hear me representative of god the angel had to touch his mouth and get him back up on his feet because the the, the vision was so much it was much more than he could take in the moment but god had the angel to work with the brother resuscitate him in so many words, help him get back up on his feet so that he could get strengthened and he could get encouraged and he can get some more motivation to continue about his assignments in the earth. He had assignments. I need to say to somebody tonight, the angels, if you need protection, they're on the way. If you need healing and deliverance, they're on the way. 
If you need financial increase, baby, 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 it's on the way. If you need an open door, my God, if you need an open door, that door is fit to open. Hiya! Oh, shit, I both said, I both If you need an, a window lifted up, maybe there's not even an, a window there. Noah, get ready to build you a window in the spirit realm. Do you understand? In the ark, Noah only had one window. One window in the ark. And that window was not on the side of the ark. That window was right in the top of the ark. So the brother didn't have a, cho a choice but to look up. Is somebody catching that in the spirit realm? I want to encourage somebody tonight to know that help is on the way. The angels are coming so you can look up. Pick your head up. The angel, my God, will take your hand right now. Angels will take your hand and help you pick your head up. It's the, so the sorrowing season is over. Who is this for? The sorrowing season is over. My God. Now, hear me in the spirit when I say this. I'm not talking about, you know, bereavement in the transitional bereavements, but some other things that we have been uh, regretting, sorrowing, crying over, whining over, pouting over. Oh, baby, those seasons are over. We're getting ready to go into the last quarter of the year. We're leaving the eighth month to month today. We're leaving the eighth month of new beginnings. Ha, shella la bosa. We're tomorrow if we bless God, wake up. We're going to be in the ninth month, which is the month of birthing. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hey, ha, shella la bosa. Woo! I just putting it's coming together for me somebody. Melissa, help me girl, pray for me girl. It's coming together for me. The the, the angels are coming. My God, with all your stuff, they're riding in on horses as fast as they can to get here before the ninth month comes in. Jesus, somebody better snatch it and grab it and hug it real, real tight because, baby, it's for you. According to your faith, be it unto you. The angels are riding. The angels, instead of them flying, instead of them walking, they were riding in on four-legged horses. Jesus, four-legged horses trying to get to you before the clock strikes 12. And you go into the ninth month, which is the month of birthing out the new thing that has been put into existence in this eighth month. Is anybody diving with me? Is anybody getting this with me? Is anybody believing this word tonight? Because baby, I ain't never seen. God has shown me some things in visions and dreams. Lynette, Elder Javen. God has shown me some things, sister and brother, but I ain't never seen an angelic rodeo before. I ain't never seen angels riding in on horses, a whole team of them, more than I could count. I ain't never seen an angelic rodeo before where the horses' pure teeth got lassos in their hands and they're already swinging. They aren't even waiting until they get to the, 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 the set point. They're not even waiting until they get to the set point. They are already prepared. It's already in motion, babies. So when they hit up on it, they don't have to pull it up and get started. It's already happening. It's just got to make the point of contact. Whoosh! And pull it in like the cowboys and the Indians. They rest, lasso, 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 and whoosh. They loose it and let it go. And they pull the bull in. They pull the horse in. Pull the steer in. Pull whatever. The angels are pulling for you. I don't know who you are who need to hear this word tonight. The last night of the eighth month because you've been, you've been disappointed. You've been disappointed this month. You were expecting more this month. You were expecting more by now. You've been disappointed because you had literally told God by the end of the summer. By the, who, who, can I get a witness on this diving board? Who is it on this diving board who has literally said in your prayer time, God, if, if you can, 
if you will. I will love if I'm putting the fleece out maybe by the end of the summer. If you could just give me the answer. If you could turn it around. If you could make it happen. Baby! It doesn't matter about the end of the summer. What matters is understanding the difference between Kronos time, our time, our clock, and Kairos time, which is God's time and his clock. Our clock is natural time, our finite mind. God's clock and timing is, oh my God, Abba, Father, Daddy, God, Woo, super on top of the natural time. Supernatural, baby. The angelic rodeo is supernatural. So I'm just trying to tell you that you can just be expecting, Natasha. Gwen, thank you. I see you because I know I ain't lying. Because I, I know what I saw. And I know what the Lord said. Tanya, Dr. T, thank you. Melissa, thank you. Javon, thank you. Glory to God. Listen, God is getting ready to birth something out big. And I'm not talking about big like height or width or depth. I'm talking about big in substance. Woo! I'm talking about big in sustainability. I'm talking about big as in perpetual. See, I, I, I'm asking God to elevate my thinking. I'm asking God to help me live more on a spiritual plane. My God, and leave this other stuff behind. I'm asking God to elevate and ascend my faith higher than it's ever been before. See, that's what I'm doing for me. And when I pray for you, because I do pray for the divers. That's what I'm praying for me. And that's what I'm praying for you. Glory to God Almighty. The angels are coming, Evangelist Jackie. Evangelist Jackie Bellamy, the angels are en route. The angels are in motion. They are moving. They are active. Oh my God. Movement inspires movement that's one of my mantras i have two three really okay movement inspires movement is one of my mantras forever the angels are in motion the angels are in quadruple time motion quadruple four four horses four legs on a horse and the lasso's going at the same time doing all of that oh my god they are lassoing in something big. Oh my God. When I say big, I'm not even talking about a dollar amount. I'm talking about big as in glorious. Somebody put glorious in the chat for me. I'm talking about big as in indescribable. The level of satisfaction you have because it is here, because it is done, because it has finally turned around. It has finally happened. It has taken place. You're going to be telling the people this is what had happened. See, what happened was, won't he do it? Will he, won't he, won't he do it? Hey, hey, that's what you're going to be doing. That's what you're going to be saying. I want to say to you all tonight that there is power, my God, in the name of Jesus. And there is power in your mouth. Hiya! You need to open up your mouth and you need to speak that thing. Speak to the angels. Tell the angels, my God, I look, Michael had to come help Daniel. Michael had to come help him. Earlier in the chapter, guess what? Gabrielle, or the, I might have it reversed, had to come and help him. You better, you better call on, my God, what God is calling on. See, I've heard some people say, you don't talk to angels. Well, angels talk to me. So why I can't talk to the angels? That's just kind of like common sense to me. If the angels talk to me, and they do talk to me, they, God sends them to give us messages. That's talking. He sends them to give us instructions. Oh, God. He sends them to give us warnings. Yes, he does. You better read Numbers chapter 22 through 24. Balaam was on his way to Moab to deliver a bad message to the people of God, and the angel blocked his way. 
Read it. Balaam tried to get that angel to go forward. The angel saw something Balaam could not see at that moment. The, the donkey, the ass, saw an angel of the Lord standing in the way. And the donkey said, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going another step forward. Uh, Balaam got mad with the donkey, start beating the donkey on the ass. Double entendre. Okay, don't be that deep and spooky. Just go with me. He started beating the donkey on the ass, trying to get the ass, trying to get the donkey, trying to get that. It's in the scripture to move and go forward. But the donkey had sense enough to know. You better not go a step further. The angel was standing there. And if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't read it in quite some time, he had a sword in hand. So, uh-uh, the, the donkey had sense enough to recognize. And after Balaam, who was determined to go and deliver the message that he wanted to give, that he intended to give, after he kept beating that donkey, guess what? The donkey opened up its mouth and talked to him. Mm. It's a wonder he didn't pass right out. If an animal opened up his mouth and talked to me, I don't know what I'm going to do. But the donkey opened up its mouth and spoke to Balaam and wanted to know, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And when that donkey, an animal, opened up his mouth and talked to the human being, oh, that got his attention. That got his attention, okay? And his eyes were opened up. See, angels come to prevent, but they will also come, oh God, to bring judgment if you want to act like you don't get it. So don't trip. Don't sleep on it. Don't, for God's sake, don't get it twisted. My, I see you, Nigel. Michael came to my rescue when I was having a dream, and uh, the enemy, I assume, was trying to take me out. Amen. Angels are real and angels are on the way. The angels are coming. Somebody needs to take comfort in that tonight. They're coming, my God, to bring comfort. But you make sure and very sure that when they arrive at your destination, <laughs> make sure that they don't have a reason to do a whammy and have to bring any kind of judgment. Because God's sending them. And right now he's sending them to come to your rescue. Like, like he did with you, Nigel. He's sending them to come to your rescue. To put the smile back on your face. Or guess what? You may already be smiling. Ain't nothing wrong. You ain't broke. You ain't struggling. The marriage is not in a mess. The children acting real good. The job's going great. Your health is, 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 is wonderful. Is even greater than a reasonable portion of health. Things are looking pretty good for you. But baby, God ain't done. Hey, who wants to catch that one? L stuff is good right now. Stuff is gravy and it's Gucci for you right now. All around you, all the boxes are clicking off, checking off. But guess what? You mean to, tr you mean to try to tell me that you don't want the overage that God had for you? You trying to tell me you don't want the promotion? You trying to tell me you don't want the increase? You trying to tell me that you don't want some more honey that uh, to flow on top of the honey that's already there, Roxanne? Are you trying to tell me that you're pleased with the kids doing good when they could be doing fantastic? Are you trying to tell me that you don't want the blessings on top of blessings? The angels don't just come because you in a mess and in a fix. The angels come, hallelujah, whenever God calls your name and gives, here's, here's Alice's name, here is her time, it's her season, here's her name, this is her address, this is her bank account number, this is, this is Nigel's social security number, I'm just tripping, but y'all get the message, right? Angels don't just come because of trouble only. That is to be clearly understood tonight. It ain't, you don't just get the blessings and the joy and peace of God because you in a mess and you need it. Hey, thank you, Dr. T. God 
is a God. Let me lean in on this. God is a God of more than enough. You got enough, but he wants to put some more on top of enough. You don't want it? Tell the angels you don't want it. And tell them my address. Okay? Okay. This is what I'm trying to say. You need to get excited. I want somebody to stop being sad. Stop being disappointed. I want you to stop the anxiety. I had to take authority, you guys, over the spirit of anxiety today. I had to take authority over it. I commanded it to break. I commanded it to loose its hold on me. I commanded anxiety to let my stomach go. I got anxiety today about a particular situation, but I looked in scripture and I saw in the word of God is the second Timothy. God has not given me a spirit of fear. Second Timothy one, if I'm not mistaken, maybe verse seven, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. And I said, Jackie, to Denise, you better loose that anxiety and you better put your head up. You better square your shoulders back. You better remember who your daddy is and you better know who you are. My God, who is that for tonight? Because see, when the angels bring the overage, you got to be able to handle it. When the angels bring the blessings on top of blessings, Dr. T, you going to have to be able to handle it. When the angels stop by with the increase, the more than enough, the, 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 the excess, the access. Are y'all catching these words? Everything that comes out of my mouth, I'm letting the Holy Ghost flow. Everything that comes out of my, somebody need access. If you need access to something on this diving port, put access in the chat. Somebody needs excess. If you need excess in any area of your life, somebody put that one word excess in the chat. Somebody needs overflow. Oh God, I don't need my cup to just be full. I need my cup to overflow. Who is that praying for overflow? Put overflow in the chat tonight. Listen, God is doing something new. Behold, he's doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive it? Are y'all sharing the broadcast for me tonight? That would really, really bless me if you would share the broadcast because some more people, some more, some more people need to get this word before 12 o'clock tonight. Because see, I, 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 I'm all about the party, okay? I'm all about the party. Hey, my beautiful sister, Francesca Richardson. That's my only birth sister in the world. Ain't she pretty? Listen. God is a God who is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. He can bless all of us on this diving board in all the different cities and all the different states that we're, that we're in. In the morning, I'm going to be on the phone with one of my coaching clients, and she's all the way in Texas. I'm going to be over here in North Carolina. God can hit both of us at the same time with a double whammy. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, I don't know about y'all. I can't help myself. I get excited, especially when I've had a shift. And I've had a shift. Let me tell y'all something. I'm about to close. I'm about to get off of here. But I've literally had a shift because the last couple of weeks, I have been overly anxious, overly stressed, overly frustrated, working overtime, just, 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 just in a, in a tizzy right here, right here. Apostle Dolly, I think it is, Pastor Apostle, right here, I have been in overload. I can confess it because I'm free. Y'all hear me? I can confess it because I'm free. And the closer I got, Melissa, to the end of the month, sister, the, the greater the pressure, the greater the anxiety, the greater the depression tried to overtake me, the greater the, the sadness, the sorrow, the various emotions and things that I thought, oh my God, I, I'm good now. But let me tell you something. God, guess what? I got, hear this. God gave me a snatch back. Woo! Somebody put that in the chat. A few days ago, Melissa's sister, God literally gave me a snatch back. He snatched my mind back to the present. He snatched my faith up to a higher level. 
He snatched my memory bank to remind me, to be reminded, didn't I do it before? Didn't I show up every time when you wanted me and you needed me? He snatched back my spirit because my spirit was in knots and God snatched it back for me from the grips of the enemy who desires to kill, steal, and destroy me. But bless God Almighty, he can't do it. Because won't no weapon that forms against me prosper. And I speak the same over you tonight on this diving board. God snatched. He told me, I'm getting ready to give you a snatch back. And I felt something break off of me, Iris. I felt the breaking like, like chains. I felt like Forrest Gump. When he was running in the Forrest Gump movie, and he had the leg braces on, Dr. T. Remember, did you see the movie? He had the leg braces on, running from the bullets, terrified for his life. Oh, my God. But the more he ran, oh, my God, as he ran, those braces just busted. He just busted right out of them. God snatched. He gave me a snatch back. God gave me a snatch back before I go into the month of birthing tomorrow he gave me a snatch back because he said to me don't take that into the ninth month because everything that i birthed out of you in the ninth month it's got to be straight it's got to be tight it's got to be right it's got to be of my will it's got to have my stamp of approval on it don't take nothing out of this month over into the ninth month of birthing Oh my God, that is not what I want you to have. Not where I want you to be. Watch your steps. You think that's the place, that's the direction, but no. God said to me, Jackie, Denise, just wait. Who is that for on this diving board? He said to me, clear as a bell. I know you think you got to bust a move, but you don't. Just wait. I know that you think you got to try to handle it in your own strength, but you don't. And as a matter of fact, you can't. Daniel passed out under the weight of, of the expectation and the glory. So just wait. Just, I'm, I'm closing. I'm really going to close. But I want to close with this. You who are thinking, trying to figure it out, you're analyzing, you're dissecting, you're, you're mapping it out. You got the, you, you, you're moving pegs around, trying to figure it out, trying to shuffle it like playing chess or playing checkers. Maybe this move, maybe that move. If I take this jump, then maybe this will happen and maybe that will happen. Babies, 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 sisters and brothers on this diving board tonight, just wait. The angels are coming. Ha! Woo! Just wait. The angels are coming. Don't do it. It ain't going to be the right move. It's not going to be the outcome that you think. Just wait. The angels are coming because God's going to give you a... Woo! Hey, Shabbat. Iris, thank you so much for putting that up there. Snatch back. Because when, when I saw your words, Iris, snatch back, God showed me an angel with his lasso. And when they lasso and it, it gets around the neck, what do they do? They snatch it back. I know what I'm talking about. Ha, <laughs> ha. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love when he gives me confirmation. Is this making sense to you all? God gave me a snatch back. Those angels on the road, on the horses, the angelic rodeo that's coming for you. They are gonna lasso some things and give you a snatch back. I'm excited. I am excited. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for my sister. Francesca Richardson, I'm excited for my divers on this diving board tonight. I am excited for you. I'm excited. So just wait. Hold up a minute. Stand still and see the salvation of God because the angels are coming with a snatch back. <laughs> that lasso is designed, oh, when it's used in a rodeo, it has, listen, it's probably a twofold purpose, but all I know is once they get it around the animal, they snatch it back. Woo! 
if you have not put Snatch back in the chat, I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. I got to go back to work. My God, y'all pray for me. I got so much work. I'm getting ready to go back to work, but I had to stop by the diving board. But I want you to rest tonight well, super well. It be expectant. Hey, just wait. I see you, Dexter. I see you, man of God. God is getting ready to give you a snatch back. I receive it and you need it. Glory to God. I hope you put snatch back because I'm telling you there is a prophetic activation when you put these things in the chat. When I encourage you to do it, I'm telling you because that's how God operates in my ministry. So put, if you have not put snatch back, <laughs> I'm smiling at my sister. If you have not put snatch back in the chat, I need for you to put snatch back in the chat. Let's let that be your benediction. If you, you want it, you looking for it, you expecting it. Are you ready? Can you handle it? Can you handle it? When it hits, can you handle it? Or are you going to be like Daniel and just woo, pass right out? And the angel got to revive you, resuscitate you. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm so thankful that God has restored my joy. Lord, don't let me start crying or nothing. But I'm so excited, Roderick, that God has restored my joy. My God, my joy has been restored at the end of this eighth month because God wants me to be excited about what he is snatching back from me and going to help me to birth out in the ninth month, which starts when? Tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, you're going to be in your snatchback season, baby, baby, baby. My God, Amos 9, 13 through 15 in full effect. Go to your Bible, read it, check it out for yourself. But it lines directly up with what I've been sharing with you tonight because it says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen for you so fast, your head is going to swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other and everywhere you look, there's going to be blessings on top of blessings, blessings poured down the sides of the mountains and the hills for you. Why? Because you're my chosen people and I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to help you plant some things. I'm going to help you own some things. You got to read it for yourself. Message version. All right. I got to go back to work. I love you guys. I love you. Love you. Love you. Time to give birth. I hear you, Mr. Williams. I hear you, man of God. Time to give birth. Yes. And you know, you bless me, y'all. Somebody pulling on me a little bit. That blesses me, uh, 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 Elder Williams, because you know what? You are man. And you've got spiritual maturity enough to understand that the birthing season doesn't have anything to do with the gender. The birthing season, because God says in his word that we're all sons. We're, he calls us his sons in his word of God. He's talking to the women. He's talking to the men. So when it comes to birthing, it is not about a, it's not a woman thing. It is a person thing. It is a child of God thing. It is for the women. It's for the men. It's for the girls. It's for the boys. Listen, it blessed me that you were able to catch that snatch back. Glory to God. Before you go to bed tonight, before you close your eyes, before you consciously, unconsciously close your eyes tonight, just say it one more time. Snatch back. These labor pains been on 10. My God, Melissa. Woo, Shia. My God. Birth it out, sister. Birth it out. Come back and tell me all about it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stay excited, woman of God. Yes. Amen. I thank God for renewing my excitement, Brenda. Because life just be doing what it do, right? I see y'all. I see some people putting it in. I've seen you put it in before. You believe this thing. You said, let me, let me put a little extra on it. Snatch back. Snatch back. Hey, snatch back. Snatch back. That's what the lasso is for. That's what the lasso is for. Shoo! Snatch it back. My God. Snatching your peace back. 
snatching your joy back, snatching your energy level back. It's not just the snatching your duckies back, your greenbacks, your money back, snatching your position back, snatching your health back. Are y'all with me tonight? I'm trying to go, but somebody's pulling and I just can't take none of this with me to work. I got to leave it on the diving board, snatching your home back. My God, if anybody's in repossession, is it, if anybody is, is getting ready to get snatched back, if it, they snatched it, but God getting ready to snatch it back. If anybody's in foreclosure, God's getting ready to snatch it back for you. I'm hearing God. Help me, Holy Ghost. There, this is snatch back season. You better hear me what I say. You better hear me what I say. What you say. Woo! You better hear me what I say. Because if God did it before, he's going to do it again. And he's doing it even greater than he did it before. You know why? Because that's what he does. He said the laughter will be greater. So when he does this over here, it's going to be greater than what he did over there. But it's all great. It's all God. I love y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Did y'all share the broadcast for me? Okay. Okay. If anybody wants to write a book, Anybody been thinking, hoping, dreaming, got some sketches and some notes everywhere in your phone, in your journal, in your, in your Bible and all of that. And you have e ever even had a inkling of wanting to write a book. You know, my write it right free webinar is going to be on Saturday. Oh gosh. On Saturday, the second from 11 to one o'clock, just two hours. And guess what? Saturday, September 2nd is my mom's birthday. Okay. My publishing company is Sapphire Press. Sapphire is my mama's birthstone, Keisha, right? The publishing company is named Sapphire Press. And I got a special gift for anybody who attends my web free webinar on Saturday on my mama's birthday. I'm going to give you a special gift in a way of a discount. I'm not going to tell you how much it's going to be right now, but if you show up to the webinar, if you like what you see, it fits with your goal and, and your dreams, I'm going to be a blessing to somebody on my mama's heavenly birthday. Amen? Ain't that good? Glory to God. I'm all about blessing, building up, and uplifting the kingdom of God and his people. Because I love God. I love y'all divers. I do. I do. I appreciate you. All right. All right. Okay. Keisha. Francesca, my sister, I call her Keisha. Please let me get off the broadcast and get my phone off of silent so I can get your call to come through. But I'm going to wait for my sister to call me. This is my only birth sister, you guys. I'm going to wait for you to call me before I go back to work. But give me time to transition and get my phone back on, on ring mode, okay? Love y'all. Share the broadcast. Make absolutely sure. And you guys who, who are catching the replay... I don't care. I don't care. Remember, you didn't miss it. If you see this tomorrow and we're already in the birthday month, you did not miss it because you got to remember Kairos time, supernatural time is not Kronos time. So don't let the devil make you think that you missed it if you don't see this before 12 o'clock tonight because he would like to screw with your head, but you can't let him do it. You know, tricks are for kids. Understand and remember what I said, the difference between Kronos time, our time, and Kairos time, supernatural time. You're in the supernatural time of God. I got to go. I love y'all. Share the broadcast, and I'll see you the next time. God bless. I love you, Paula. You were on my mind today, and I prayed for you today, and I got to be calling you soon. Good night, everybody. Love you. Bye.